Hey everyone, are you ready for Halloween? We're going to start out with a Jack face paint tutorial. This video is brought to you by Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm your artist rep, Lily Santoya, and today we'll be using Tag Neon Coral. This is our listing on facepaintforumshop.com. I'll start out with a sponge dauber loaded with superstar white, and I'm going to create Jack's head. So I'll go around in a circle, and this will all depend on how large of a space you're working on. Now we've got Tag Neon Coral. What I did was actually take the face paint and repot it into this awesome little one stroke. Facepaintforumshop.com sells many of these uh, container assortments. So now I've taken another sponge dauber and loaded it well. What I'm doing is trying to get a dark area around Jack. And so I'm pushing rather hard. And then as I go out a little bit towards his hair, I'm just going to do a light pouncing. That way it sort of looks like a glow. All right, now I've got my low Cornell round number two brush and we're gonna create his hat. This is also DFX black that I'm using. And I wanted to make his hat a little bit askew. So the great thing about Nightmare Before Christmas or any of these characters, Halloween characters, is that many of them um, have kind of like distorted uh, proportions. So it actually makes it really fun to create and experiment with these characters. So I'm making his hat a little bit off. There we go. And then um, we'll create a little bit of a design here in this area. Alrighty, now we'll go around Jack's face. And remember that his mouth sits really low on his face. So just try to your best to create a thin, thin line. Now he's got just kind of, um, it looks a little bit like stitches on his mouth. His nose just requires two dots, and then his eyes are really what stands out. So we'll do the angry eyebrow, and then I go straight across and up. So it's almost like a triangle sort of shape. And for this eye, I went a little bit lower because I wanted it to look like his face was just slightly angled. All right, now for this part, it's we're actually going to create bat wings. He typically has a little bow tie, and it's a bat. So, and it's really exaggerated. It's very, um distorted so I actually decided to add those particular bat wings on the side of his face so you'll just have fun with this um, each side has three um, separations of the bat wing and I kind of just went a little twisty and, and turned here and there a little bit so you want to make sure it looks kind of well definitely crooked <laughs> And I love it because that's what really makes it um, very Halloween. And then lastly, we'll add a shine just to the very top of his uh, hat there. And that pretty much completes our design. This is a very simple design. Kids always ask for Jack Skellington. So I can't wait to see you try this. Remember, you can find all these supplies and so much more at Facepaint Forum Shop. 